Uh, I'm going to put a shoe in it, but I'm going to stand following it. It's very, very good. I'm going to have a life now, not yet, right? <clears throat> I don't know if Venus does this, though. Hi, everyone. Hello. We are going live in a, around a few seconds time. Two minutes. Around two minutes. So I hope. Oh, hi. I see familiar names. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Hi, everyone. We are going live. Hello. We are yeah, live. right. So I hope all of you are ready with your notepad. But no worries. Later on, we'll actually be posting the recipe. Okay, so. Um, you can just you know relax, sit back, and really look, and just enjoy. Okay, today's um cooking right. demonstration. So, <laughs> oh hi, hi Mia, hello. <laughs> I hope you can hear me quite clearly. If you can, so just give me a thumbs up, smiley face. Yes, yeah, okay, good. All right, good job. Okay, very good. Okay, I think um, it's almost time. <laughs> okay, good. You can hear me loud and clear. Awesome. So, well, while we are starting to be on live, just want to ask everyone over here if um, you like cooking. Or, you know, those uh, viewers I have now. Do you like do you like cooking? So, if you do, maybe you would just like to comment on what um, dish you like to cook. Especially with you know, the time now and when you are really working from home. You know, and staying home to, to actually you know, to be away from you know, um, malls and all that. So, tell me what food you like to cook. Yes. Oh, okay. I see. Well, okay. We've got salads. Yes. I think that is that is really a good. <laughs> that's a really good choice of salad. So um. Well, though today is actually we're going to cook a soup. Okay. So um, the soup is actually a one dish meal. So we're going to use a lot of ingredients, which is really quite. Okay. So quite um obtainable. Okay. All right. So hi everyone. Okay. So those of you who came earlier, yeah, it was a good time to have a chat with all of you. So, um, hi everyone, my name is Jolene, the dietitian from MinNet. This is really our first, first live demo cooking on Facebook. So, please stay tuned because we're going to have a lot of other sessions coming up. Right, so um, we're going to share to you with you today a soup recipe. So, I, but before we start, I would just like to ask if everyone keeping very, very well. Okay, I hope you are. So, the soup we're going to teach you today is on, is actually to boost your immunity. Okay, so and also on top of that, you know, it's actually we use a lot of other ingredients that are quite easily available. All right, right, okay, so now let me just um, show you the ingredients. So the first ingredient we have over here, I hope you can see, right? You can see quite clearly. Okay, we have our um, the first ingredient we have is our chickpeas. Okay, so um, for chickpeas, a lot of participants will ask me. Right, these are chickpeas. Okay, or in other words, you know, if you don't quite know what chickpeas are, they are actually our local kacang puteh. Right, some of our participants, sometimes when I do my cooking demonstrations, they will ask me, should you get the dried type of um, kacang puteh or do you get the canned ones? Well, if you have, um, if you don't mind, you know, spending a little more time to prepare your chickpeas, that's okay. What you can do is soak the chickpeas overnight, then just boil it. Another better alternative and much faster is really get the canned ones. Okay, so when I say canned foods, a lot of us will be asking, oh no, you know, is the canned, are canned foods, you know, salty? Well, don't worry about it. What you need to do is just rinse off the brine, okay, which is the salted water, then be fine. Okay, so um, the, the chickpeas I'm using today are the salted, uh, which is canned. Okay, so it's just rinsed with water. We have our carrots. There's half a carrot over here, cut really thinly. We also have our celery, two sticks of celery, and also half um, cut tomatoes. Okay, so they're all diced up. Next, a very important ingredient we have are our mushrooms. Yeah. 
So for mushrooms, we're using the white mushrooms. Why are we using white, white mushrooms and not brown ones? So my, my colleagues is asking me, hey Jolene, why are you using the white ones? So I told them really that I didn't want my soup to look really brown. So that's the truth. And so, but if you were to ask me, um, the brown mushrooms will taste a little bit more intense. But if you want something a little bit more light, because it's going to be a clear soup we are cooking, so it will be a white one. So, and um, the, the white mushrooms or brown mushrooms are a really good source of protein and they are really rich in antioxidants. So that will add up to the immune, you know, to the immunity booster for the soup. Then we also have chicken. So we have our chicken breast. Okay, so in here, I will remove the skin, just cut it into cubes. So when I say chicken breast, a lot of times, okay, we will have people asking me, ah, oh, chicken breast is not nice. Can I use, you know, chicken drumstick with skins you know, or chicken thighs, right? If you want to stay slim, all right, and also have your protein intake, best is go to this chicken breast. So how do you make your chicken breast less tough and dry? So what you need to do, really, okay, it's really simple step just before you cook. Just cut the chicken up into the desired, um, you know, shape or size you would like. Soak it into water. Um, with brine, just a little uh, salt. Okay, just a little. Just soak it, and then after a while, when you're about to cook it, just rinse off, and then you will have the um moisture really soaked in the chicken. Okay. Okay. Then next, uh, we will have our herbs. So we have our garlic over here. So chopped up garlic and our onion. So onions, again, my participants ask me, do you use the white ones, you know, the, the white ones or the purple ones? So I always say, it depends on what type of food you are going to cook. So because the soup you're using is actually the Western kind of soup. So I would go for the um, onions. Okay, the, the, the white onions, why? Because they are sweeter. So why are we using these two? Why? Because they are really rich in antioxidants. So and also plus it is a herb to really make your soup really very sweet. Then we have our herbs. We have our okay, anyone want to make a guess? Okay, I'm not gonna to talk to my viewers for a little bit. Hi. <laughs> okay, what's this? Come on. <laughs> Anybody? This is this is not okay, this looks like dried leaves. Yes. But anybody wants to tell me what this herb is? Anybody? <laughs> okay, I've got a viewer that says looks like some kind of leaf. Yes, you are getting there. Very good. <laughs> anybody? Okay, anyway. All right, this is bay leaves. <laughs> Yay. Okay, someone says truffles. Okay. Nice try. We'll try truffles the next time. Okay, uh, not basil. Yeah, um, yeah, but this is a bay, uh, bay leaf. So okay. bay leaves are really complementary, and they're complementary for poultry. So that's why I'm using bay leaves. And okay. both bay leaves, and also we're going to use thyme. Nice try. Okay, thyme. So these are all herbs that are good for us. Why? Because they give us some trace trace minerals like potassium, um, magnesium. So they are all important to boost our immune system. And plus, it will also help reduce. Um, us adding in other sauces and seasoning so it really it makes your soup really good we also have got our crushed pepper just to add a tinge of the you know, spiciness in our soup okay and last but not least before i start cooking i know all of you are like oh can you hurry up okay so this is our stock how do i make this stock if you want it really fast just go for the reduced stock i uh, reduced salt stock okay so what i did was just really use the cube one Okay, the ones with the Healthy Choice logo, just put it in water. So in here, we have got three cups of water. But if you want to make it really natural, what you need to do is to have the entire whole chicken into your pot and add in your uh, potatoes, carrots, and celery. So that will make the base of the soup. Okay. All right, we're going to start now. Thank you. Hi, okay, we've got 54 viewers now. So those of you who are going to you know, join us, please really just share our link okay with um your other friends who are going to be here almost i mean every day okay so tomorrow i'm, I'm going to tell you later on what i'm going to cook tomorrow okay but let's deal with the soup first okay so now i'm going to use a non-stick pan okay so sometimes you know when you cook a soup you realize you need to go and find a very big pot that's that's not that's not the case at all okay, if you want to cook soup you can use any 
thing that you think is useful and what's most important for people who are staying at home and also working at the same time they don't want to actually really wash so many properly okay so this is like a one dish thing. okay so i'm going to now heat up my pan um, i'm using a non-stick pan it's important to use a non-stick pan why let my viewers do some typing in let me check it out anybody Oh yes, BB. Yeah, the yeah the liao right. Yeah, the ingredients are quite a lot. Yes. So if you would want to know um, how many people you can serve for this, depends if a small eater around three, but you want to share it like for main meal around two. Okay. Yep. Yes, we will be sharing the recipe later on. That's right. Yes, the recipe will be made known. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is oh sorry, I was talking about the non-stick pan. Okay. So for the non-stick pan, it's important while we're using because we're using less oil. Okay, that's basically yeah, yes, it. Okay, so right, so I'm going to add in my oil now. Okay, so no prices yet to find out what oil this is. So a lot of us are asking what oil this is. So you can use a healthier oil. So you can use olive oil, or there's no hard and fast rule. Any healthier oil would be like corn oil. Um, it could be your safflower oil you know so any oil will do except for um coconut, uh, palm oil okay so no vegetable oil all right so what we're going to do now okay i'm just going to heat up the pan so the first thing that's going to go in the pan is actually our garlic and our and our onion okay hang on just need to just move this function a little bit okay there we go all right okay so for those of you who are tuning in are you having a dinner now or are you going to cook and so you're going to look for some inspiration i hope yeah, or you're on the way home. Easier to clean. Yes, that's right. It's easier to clean as well. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to add in my onions and my garlic. I'm just going to stir fry a little bit. I know, you know, every time we watch a live cooking demo, we want to hear it sizzle. Okay, but sometimes with the, um, with this, right, it's always very important to make it, um, so, I mean, sometimes, you know, it's live right then, you know, you wait for the pot and pan to really heat up. Okay, so you go to, can you hear the sizzling? This how you can. I can sell, <laughs> you can sell the garlic. Okay, awesome. All right, so while we are still frying these uh, onions and garlic, um, a lot of times when we are doing our cooking, especially we want to start a dish, we would like to stir fry the garlic and the onion first. Why? Because we want to let the antioxidants we we'll work it out a little bit more. So basically, you want your garlic to be really um, antibacterial. What you need to do is to cut up the garlic at least maybe um, 30 minutes before you cook. So the oxygen, you know, the air will interact with the garlic and that will release um, the antioxidant much better. Okay, so we're going to cook it now, stir fry it a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to add in is actually really the chicken. And I'm going to add in the chicken now. So I'm not going to cook it really well, just maybe half cooked. Why? Because if you don't want your chicken to be so tough in the soup, you need to cook it just nice. Okay? So um, we're going to just pan fry a little, just a little to for it to be just um, half, half cooked. Okay, those of you who are here, yeah, I hope you really, you know, learn this recipe. It's really fast and it's a one dish meal, good for everyone. Okay, so stay tuned. We're going to share the recipe later on. Okay, so I'm just going to, so you can see, I hope you can see. Okay. All right, I'm going to now just pick up the chicken so that it doesn't um, overcook. Okay, I'm just going to put the chicken on a clean plate. Next, I am going to add in all the rest of my vegetables. I'm just going to stir fry a little bit, okay, and uh, if you have got an elder at home and have got um, difficulty chewing some of these carrots, so please really make sure that you cut it into thin slices, so that will encourage them to um, chew the vegetables as well. Right, so it's a good mix of vegetables in here. So my participants are asking me, uh, what other vegetables could you add in here? So, well, there's no hard and fast rule. You can add in things like potatoes. Um, even green leafy vegetables if you want it really a little bit more Asian. You will notice I'm not going to add in the mushrooms yet. Why? Because the mushrooms cook really quick. So I don't want to cook for too long for the antioxidants. 
you know, to be uh, destroyed. So I'm going to just give it a good name. Okay. All right. Well, if you're interested to know, you see our really pretty bad rock at the back. And it says, the belly rules the hand. Do you think so? <laughs> okay, now, so it's around. So it's just give it a stir fry. Right? Okay, so recipe says for a minute. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pour in the stock. This is when you hear the sizzle, little. And I am going to cover it up a little. I can check with you. Okay, this is the time I like a lot because I like to interact with my participants. All right, so let's see. Um, just if you see me hovering like that, that's because I'm looking at my phone. Okay, so with all my comments coming in. Can you add pasta into the soup to make it a meal? Of course you can. Yes, you can do that. And I was just about to share that with you. So this is good with brown rice or white rice. Or if not, you know, sometimes if you're working again, you know, alone at home and you don't really want to cook your rice, you just need to get some homemade bread, put it in a toaster, they can eat it. It's pretty good. Okay, so as I pop the lid on, I will need to um increase the fire to let it go for quite um to sorry increase the heat to give it a quick boil. Okay, then later on I'll add in my other herbs. Okay, so. Can you use seafood? Oh yes, you can. <laughs> what kind of seafood would you, would you like to put in? Anyone? Anybody? Seafood? Any prawns? So when I say prawns, you know, a lot of times people ask me, oh, you know, prawns are high in cholesterol, you know, so is it okay? Well, basically, um, for prawns, you just remove the head, just don't eat the head. Oh, I know, okay, I feel like, oh, but the prawn is like, the prawn head is the best part, isn't it? Oh, guys, you need to, you know, be a little bit more moderate in your taking, okay, in your food. So, good to just um, don't take the, uh, don't take the. Okay, so we're going to actually let it boil a little bit. Hi, hello, Pauline. <laughs> okay, uh, for the, another question, can you replace the soup with mala soup? This is a very good question. You can do that, but you need to watch down the oil. Hey, why mala is so spicy is really because of the oil in there. So you want to make it yet also spicy at the same time. I know you like to go for the big ta la, you know, in Chinese it actually means like very, very spicy. Okay, so you might need to watch that on a little bit. Okay, now you can see it is on a roll, roll, rolling boil already. Can you see that? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just lower the heat a little. Okay, because if not. Okay. I am going to now add in on my mushrooms. Okay. And the mushrooms. Okay. I hope you can see over here. Okay. Mushrooms. Oh yes. Um I wanted to share with you how do you treat or how do you clean mushrooms? Basically, there's no need to wash this these fresh mushrooms. What you need to do is just really um take it out from the packaging. Okay, um use a damp cloth to wipe it. And then after that, you are good to go. And the stems here are quite different from our Chinese mushrooms. They're really quite tough, the dried one. So you can eat the entire thing. Okay, so once you see that the uh, vegetables are quite cooked, right? So we're going to add in the chicken. Right, going to add in the mushroom. Uh, the I added tomatoes in here. So, oh yes, for the tomatoes, sometimes you'll be asking, can I add cherry tomatoes? So cherry tomatoes can be quite eaten as a snack because it's really handy and they are quite tangy. So you want your soup to be a little bit more tangy, which is more sour, you can add in your cherry tomatoes. But today I added in the bigger ones. Okay, so no hard and fast rule, you can add um, the different type of mushrooms in there, as long as it's fresh. Okay, so now we are almost done, to, almost, almost done. Right, so I didn't forget my herbs. So now I'm going to add in my bay leaves. Bay leaves. Just one. Oh, um, why did I add only one? Because if you have the chance or you've experienced eating with bay leaves, 
they're really quite strong. So, you know, for a start, if this is the first time you're using your bay leaves, so just use one first. Okay, so you can always add in others. So that goes the same for salt. You realize I've not added any salt in there. So what I'd like to do for my cooking and a tip to share with you is add in all your herbs first. Taste it before you add in your salt because that will be a much better way to reduce your salt intake. All right, so added the bay leaves and now we have got some thyme. Could add in a dash of it in here. Same goes for thyme and all the herbs. Okay, so let's just add a little first. Okay, so for my participant who said that she wanted mala. So today we have no mala but we have this crushed red pepper. So if you like this to be really spicy, you can just add a little bit more in here. Right. Okay. So just a little dash. Right. So we are almost done. I hope you can. I, it's too bad you can't smell it through life. Okay, but it really smells really awesome here. <laughs> so you know you need to try it to to know it. Okay. So please, you know, try it at home. Okay. So we are almost done. I'm just not going to try the soup now, just to see and. Sure, I make sure that you know if you need any more salt. No need to add any more salt. This is good enough. Okay, so someone's asking me what herbs do you recommend? Oh, I think you might have missed um our um, cooking demo uh, much earlier. So the herbs I added in was actually thyme. There was actually a uh, bay leaves and also our crushed red pepper. Right. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to just Scoop it up, okay, and uh, dish it for you to have a look. So we are almost done. And how long did we use for this cooking? <laughs> around 12, around 12 minutes. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to just um, stop this, okay, turn off the fire, and I'm going to just keep it up for you to see. Okay, I'm going to bring it really close to the camera, a close-up look. <laughs> I've got colleagues that are tuning in. Hi guys. Some of them are still working in, in, and they say they are very hungry. Okay. Good that you are. You can try it later on if you want to. Okay, so I'm just going to scoop this up and let you see how it looks like. So for the garnish, what you can do, you can add in some, some coriander if you like coriander. Or if not, you can just leave it like that. So this is actually our clear immunity. Can you see? Right. Okay. Great. All right. So. Okay. Good. Okay. And someone says she's very ready with her bowl and her raki. All right. So um, we have came to the end of our first session today, but this is just the start. So stay tuned later on because um, well, while uh, while I was cooking, our very hunky instructor Alex just walked in okay so he's getting ready for his session later on at seven o'clock so please stay tuned okay and um, what's going to happen really exciting is going to happen is that uh, you can stay tuned to first you need to like our Facebook page second you need to turn in notifications so that every time there's a live session you get notified why we have got our cooking sessions coming up almost all every day actually so you can see me tomorrow and i also wanted to share that you wanted to know right what i was going to cook tomorrow so tomorrow i'm going to do a easy to uh, a easy wrap okay so it's good for lunch so i'm going to have it tomorrow at you know updates all right okay so more, more um tomorrow and we've got new uh, other nutritionists that are going to join us as well Okay, so I will see all of you tomorrow again. And please turn on your notifications to be notified when you're online. Okay. All right, bye. -bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you.